Hello there, my name is Aileen and I am the director of Wise Choice Education. And today I'd like to give you a few hints and tips on what it's like to be a cabin crew member and some information that you may not know. So the first thing I'd like to look at is the senior cabin crew members. The first one is the chief purser. Depending on what airline you fly with, they can also be known as the head flight attendant, cabin service manager, or senior cabin crew member. Now this person has no serving duties and is responsible for the running of the whole cabin together with uh, deciding who works where, paperwork and in charge of money as well. We also have the purser who can be in charge of the first or business class cabin and can also help the chief purser with the paperwork with deciding what happens when. So now what I'd like to go on to is some other words that you may not be aware of. The first one is aft, which basically means the rear of the plane. Starboard, which is the right side of the plane. Port, the left side of the plane. And the manifest is a list of passengers, cargo and gate connections to do with that particular flight. Okay, good. Now, let's move on to some abbreviations. IFE, in-flight entertainment. LH, long haul. SM or SPM, special meal. PFUG, pre-flight upgrade. We also have CCOM, which is Cabin Crew Operations Manual. And finally, ICCA, International Cabin Crew Association. Now what I'd like to move on to next is some personal and physical qualities that some airlines may look for in you as a cabin crew member. So let's look at the personal qualities first of all. You must be able to work as a team, have good personal organisation, good planning skills, be able to work under pressure, have flexibility and patience. Now, physical. They want you to have good coordination, stamina and in some cases you might have to be the correct height for the airline. We also need clarity of speech, personal hygiene, of course, and lastly, um, something else. Now, what is it? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, a good memory. I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.